Hello, 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 hello. Hi, how are you all doing? It's me. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing wonderfully great and all that. Okay. Uh, today I have a. It's called a all-in-one gift surprise from Team You. So I've actually been on to Team You. I have got um, a few other bits come with this, but I just wanted to do the unboxing of this and then I'll do another Team You video at a later date. Uh, so I'll get into this in a minute and I'll tell you what it is and the price and all that malarkey. But before I do, it's time for a laugh on the loo with Lucy Lou. Oh yes it is. So, let's have a look at what we got here, all right. What we got here right did you hear about the man who drowned in his breakfast cereal he was dragged under by a strong current can you open what is the height of optimism an english batsman putting on sunscreen <laughs> yeah that is about right you know Right, being British is about driving a German car to an Irish pub for a Belgian beer, then travelling home, grabbing an Indian curry or a Turkish kebab on the way to sit on Swedish furniture watching American shows on a Japanese TV. That is absolute genius because everything there, that is so true. That is so true. Us Brits, listen, if there's... Anyone, obviously, as I know there's a lot of you from the UK, tell me that's not true. I'm going to read it again. Being British is about driving a German or a German car to an Irish pub for a Belgian beer, then travelling home. Grabbing an Indian curry or a Tur Turkish kebab on the way to sit on Swedish furniture, Ikea, everyone's got Ikea, watching American shows on a Japanese TV. That is so true, I can't even, yeah, I can't even say, I can't. Right, this is called Britain's Funniest Place Names. So this is places in Britain with funny names, yeah? There's a place in, uh, it's called Broken Wind. <laughs> a hamlet in Aber Aberdeen, Scotland. Aberdeenshire, Scotland. And it's called Broken Wind. That should be me. You know, I'm always breaking winds, mate, I tell you. Loose bottom, that's definitely me, Yeah. A scenic area popular with walkers close to Falmer, which is F-A-L-M-E-R, not Farmer, in East Sussex, England. So if you go to East Sussex, um, close to Farmer, you'll find a place called Loose Bottom. Great Snoring is a sleepy rural village in Norfolk, England. My friend Carol lives in Norfolk, but I've not been. Barton in the Beans, a hamlet in Leicestershire, England, once renowned for cultivating broad beans. Dull. 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 A village in Perthshire, Scotland, twinned with boring in Oregon, USA, and bland in New South... New, I can't even read. In New South Wales, Australia. Horrid Hill. Part of the Riverside County Park in Kent, England. There's only a few more. Don't get too bored, all right? Droop. Oh, that's me as well. I've got droopy little spaniel's ears, do not I? A hamlet in Dorset, England. What's a hamlet? I thought it was a cigar. A cigar by hamlet, from hamlet, whatever. Crackpot. Aha! I say no more. That is my village. A village in North Yorkshire, England. I'm moving to Crackpot. All right. Botus Fleming. A village in Cornwall. I do love Cornwall. Do you know? Come on, I'm, I'm going to continue. But Matt has led, led me to tell you a story. All right. So I went to Cornwall, right? Oh, this is years ago. Callie was like, oh, I don't even know. Mm, I've got the photos and Sherry looks about, maybe four, five. And, uh... I just thought, because I'm a water baby, I love the sea, I love anything water, swimming pool, uh, I, mean, I could probably do a few more baths than I do, but I know, I'm joking, I love the water, I love the swimming pool, anything, but anyway, gone to Cornwall, 
we'd only just arrived there um, and I think we were staying at a place called Car Wargy. And in fact, I know we were staying at a place called Car Wargy. And I think we checked in and then we'd gone straight to the beach and little old me, it was a nice day, which is quite unusual. It was really sunny, maybe 80 something, yeah? I'm like, I'm going in the sea, I am. Anyway, I start walking into the sea, yeah? I walked a little way out and all of a sudden I had the worst pain I I swear, I've never known pain like it. I thought oh, I'd actually done, I thought that maybe there would have, there'd been a broken bottle, like a glass bottle, and I'd stepped on it. Um, so I'm literally screaming. My brother-in-law sort of run out to where I was to help me back because I'm like, trying, to, trying to hop. And I'm screaming, I'm screaming. But then the pain had started to get predominantly worse, worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And I didn't know what to do. Anyway, when we've got, I've got back to the beach. I can't actually remember how. I think my brother-in-law may have run to get some. Got, got went to ask someone or whatever. And we come across the fisherman, yeah. And he said, "Oh, you've been strong by weaver fish." I sort of how he said it. <laughs> um, and apparently, these weaver fish, um, they burrow themselves under the sands. And then if you step on them, you're in, you're, you're in big, you're up shit creek without a paddle, mate. I'll tell you, because it hurt. And what he had to do, so he said the best way that apparently you can get the venom out or the sting out, whatever it is, is you can either pee on it or put your feet into like really hot water. So he did boil a kettle, but I couldn't put my feet into that hot water because I want to get blisters, and I? But anyway, I ended up going to the hospital, um... Like to Cornwall Hospital, and there was a girl, a nurse there, she was only 19, and I got talking to her, and she said, I, oh, you know, I am down the beach all the time. She said, and I'm 19, should I live here? She said, no, I've never, ever been stung by a weaver fish. She said, that's the most unlucky thing ever. And literally, I'd only just walked in the water, and yeah, your girl gets stung by a weaver fish. So that's my Cornwall story, all right? You better have liked it. Has anyone ever been to Cornwall, been to Bobman Jail? God, Bob Minjow was the best. I heard jailer's keys, yeah, in the outside part of the prison, but there was no one there. Ghosts. Jailer ghosts. Anyway. Strangler. <laughs> Strangle Willie. <laughs> A town lands in County Tyrone, Northern Ireland. Strangle Willie. Strangle Willie. I've been known to do that. <laughs> me friendly. Scratchy Bottom. That is me with me farmers. That is me with me farmer Giles, mate. Scratchy Bottom. A cliff top valley between Durdle Door. Durdle Door sounds like something from Harry Potter. And Swira. Swiry Head in Dorset, England. I've been Dorset as well, and that was really nice. And I stayed in a haunted hotel there as well. I know. Everywhere I go is haunted. They follow me. They love me. A ghost. Ghosts love me, I tell you that. For nothing. Anyway, it's also time for my 1,227 facts to blow your socks off. Oh, yes, it is. Right. I'm sorry this is a long one today, guys. In 1928, the Solomon Islands pigeon for adjustable spanner was Spanner He Go Walkabout. And saw, and a saw was this fella pull him, he come push him, he go brother belong axe. All right, I don't know. I'm so, sorry, I'm really lost. The Zulu for Jack in a Box is Aduli Ohala Eboskini. I'm not going to say anymore. It's like I'm summoning up the devil. I'm not saying no more. All of a sudden, there'd be some devil waiting there to try and possess me. He says, I want to possess that beautiful woman. Right. The melee... No, the melee for slate is... Sejinus Batu... Berwar... This next one sounds really rude, all right? <laughs> wank lank. Is Dutch for a dis do, discordant noise. Look, I kid you not. Wank lank. <laughs> I'm gonna, I remember that one. Next time I hear a noise in distance, I'm going to go, Oi, did anyone hear that wank lank? 
And that's my 1,227 facts to blow your socks up. Oh, yes, it is. Anyway, right. So, when I went on to Sheen, I didn't go on to Sheen at all. Sorry. Sorry, Team U. When I went on to Team U, I found this mystery beauty box. Now, I must tell you all, I've written it down here. Um, the box itself was £39.47p, but they had it on a flash sale for £8.39, which is what I got it for. I got this whole box for £8.39, I kid you not. Um, and it's now gone back up to 39.47. Now I don't know if it was because I was new to Team U, um, or with if it was in one of their. I think it said it was one of their flash sales, though, if I remember rightly. But I know it was 39.47. I got it for eight pound thirty-nine. So anyway, when it arrived, I opened this bit because I was going to have a look through it first. <coughs> but as I opened it, I see it was like this. Hang on. Like so, and I thought, I'm not going to get it back in there, how it's been set out. So I thought, you know what, I'll let everyone see what's actually... So I don't know what's in there. I'm going to be as surprised as you lot to what's in there. But let's see what I got for £8.39. So, first of all, uh, I'm going to put it on the floor, and then I'll show you bit by bit. Uh, there's just a, a little leaflet. I think that is telling you what's in there. And then some of that. It like protective stuff right so the first thing is called pop fill eyeshadow palette so it's in a box like this and let's get into it let's open it pop feel do 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 the catch feels and it's in a little bubble wrappy woos let me tell you, I've not even opened it yet, but this case is a sturdy good old case. All right, now you have to take the protective film off. Um, but that really isn't bad. There's a hell of a lot of colours there and some pretty colours. Smells a bit funky. Oh. Not about that smell but anyway i'm sure it's probably just the protective layering that smells but there's all the colors so you get one two three four five five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty thirty five forty different color eyeshadows in there so that's the first thing i'll put that back in the thingy um and then next thing is Oh, so it's cool. There's a load of eyelashes there. I'm going to put a few of these in the advent because I won't be using all of them. Oh, they! I love them though because they're on such a thin strip. Um, and I don't know why eyelashes tend to give me headache. But if you look how thin that strip is, uh, they'll be just fine on me. So I'll be definitely definitely keeping them without a doubt so everything i want i'm going to put up there i'm keeping them the eyeshadows i do think i'm going to gift on because even though they're gorgeous i have got a hell of a lot of eyeshadows um and then next is this oh oh lovely a load of makeup brushes so there's one two three four five six seven eight there's more in here hang on eight nine ten and i suppose these ones they're pretty soft yeah so oh no there's another little one there was one hiding in the bottom. Oh, girl, that's really little. What did I use that for? But anyway, yeah, so they're like little wooden makeup brushes, which I think are absolutely gorgeous. You can never have enough makeup brushes, especially when you're doing like eyeshadow. So they come in like a little bag, like so. So I'll be keeping 
keeping them too. Uh, and then there's some... Um, I really like that. I think that is lovely. Look at that. So you've got four beauty blenders. But they come in a lovely case. Obviously, you can wash this case. Oh, I think that's such a good idea. Oh, my God. They're so soft. I want to eat them. They're so soft and squidgy. They're all, di they're all different, though. They're kind of like... Look. Oh, they're so squidgy. Make my mouth salivate. They're so squidgy. I like them a lot. I think they're really good. I'm definitely keeping them. They are mine. They are mine. They're not going in. Nobody's advent. Uh, and then there is what we got here. One, two, three, four, five, six lipsticks or lip colours. Let's, let's have a look. So we've got a, a red, and these are matte lip creams, it says. Um, a purple. So far, I won't be keeping any of the lip creams. Although well, that's quite nice, that pink. I think I'll try the pink. Pinky red, I'll keep that one. Uh, and then... It's like a maroony, I don't know, a maroony ready colour, would you say? Not sure. Um, they're all pretty much similar colours, to be honest. Uh, I don't know, I might keep that one. And then an orange one, which is quite a nice colour. But I'll be gifting quite a few of them on uh into the advents uh then they've given me what is this oh i needed some new hand cream a friend of mine did send me some quite a while ago oh hang on i'll show you um she sent me this one but like i've been using it every night so there's not much left in there so uh yeah got a new hand cream which is fan dabby dozy that's going up there with the other one i I have to put hand cream on every night or either hand cream. I'm either, I'm either, either covered in Dove hand cream, Dove lotion or Dove, or just hand creams. That's why my glasses are always like, you know. Um, oh, another hand cream. But this one is, what is this, rose? Hang on. A rose. That's a rose fla flavour. It's not flavoured at all. I ain't going to eat it. Rose scented. And what was this one? I didn't say that, you know. Avocado. So we've got rose and, avoc rose and avocado. So actually I'll put them there with things I'm keeping. I'll tell you what, come on. You can't go wrong at the moment. I mean, I know if you're paying the full price, but bloody hell, £8.39. Oh, I'm chuffed to pieces. Um, eyelash curlers, I don't use them, so they'll be gifted on. With some eyebrow stencils. Again, I don't use them. Um, but I think this is a, yeah, I'll be keeping that because that is, I do use them, which is the Peach Buzz Razors. But uh, that there, I will be gifting on. What I say by gifting on, I mean, I'm putting them in, in Advents. I've got a lot of Advents to do. Um, so, yes. Uh, what else then we got here? Then we got all oh, my legs. Sorry guys, my legs really hurting me now. Waterproof mascara. I gather that's in black and it's made by the same people, Pop Feel. I won't open it because it is just a mascara. Um, that's mine. <laughs> uh, velvet smoothing eyeliner pencil in black. And you can never have never have enough so am I talking oh anyhow any hue and then this is a instant lift eyebrow pencil ooh la la look at all this gear mate £8.39 and I still, I've got loads here. Still, I've got loads. So now there's another three lipsticks. 
How many items is that so far? That is loads. Right, let's see these colours. I can't, I can't believe it. I can't believe it, how much stuff I've got. That is nuts. And it ain't even horrible stuff. It's nice stuff. That's like a, a dark brown. I don't wear them kind of colours. Um, so... Uh, I might even put some of these in a gift giveaway for Christmas. I'm going to do a little um, box at Christmas. and Actually, I'm probably going to use this, this box here to send it all in. I am going to do a uh, giveaway at Christmas. Makeup, a bit of perfume. Um, I might chuck you in some chocolates or whatever. A few bits and bobs in this box, which I'll show you near a, a Christmas, which I'm going to be sending to one of my lovely subscribers. Um, as a gift from me to you I wish I could make a box like that for every one of you but I have I just haven't got the money and the capacity so one lucky winner will be winning it so I'm going to fill this box up and it is a big box with loads of goodies and at Christmas time near then I'll show you what it is um, some of this will be in there too uh, and then there's another lipstick what colour is this I used to love red. I don't wear red anymore, really. I don't wear it, really. Oh, yeah. But that's a nice colour, again. And then, what's this one? See, I, I do like myself with pink. Pink lips. Pink is my favourite, really. All the nudier colours. Although, that is really, really nice. I like that. So, shall I try it on? I'm going to keep this one. Yeah. Hmm. That one's alright, isn't it? So that's it, got that one. Uh, then there is a... What is this? Oh, this is called Popfill 15 Colours Concealer Palette. Can't believe it, can you? So it's in a little palette like this. And let's open it. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, yes. Look at the colours. They're all, all concealers. Um, or like you could do contouring or whatever. And I know these kind of colours, they're meant to like help you if you've got like discoloured skin or whatever i don't really know i'm not a makeup artist but i know they do wow wow is all i can say is all i can say so that's them got still a few more bits here uh and then this is loose face powder again by pop feel Oh, look, what a nice colour. It's just like an, uh, a light. Oh, look. Nice. Don't really smell of anything. Nice for under the old eyeballs, isn't it? So that. Oh, oh, that comes off the top, look. Nice. I like that. That is swanky, all right. So that's the powder. I mean, I don't really, really, I don't really wear a lot of loose powder, but I do put it under the old eyeballs when I've got the bags. Um, and then there is a what's this? Perfect. Shut up. Let's give you foundation and all. Perfect liquid foundation. So it's in a thing like. Oh, that colour is the boom. It's like a peach. Please say that's the colour. And it ain't just the colour of the bottle. Oh no, it is the colour of the bottle. Oh no, it is similar though. Oh, that. Oh, I love these peachy colour um, foundations. They suit my complex. 
so that and then there's one more thing in here so this is primer I won't open that because I don't wear primer so that's going to go in a, in a gift box or giveaway as well pop fill photo finish smooth and blur primer I'll probably give that to my mum in an advent calendar because she does love a primer so let's count these bits anyway so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three 24 items although if you was going to count them separately you'd probably be about at maybe 40 items or 39 items i think that is marvelous uh, and i got all of that i just i'm still in shock myself can't believe i've got that for eight pounds and 39p if anyone is interested in this uh just let me know and then i'll go and link it on the community post uh just to let everyone see um I think it's even worth the 39.47 um, because there's a hell of a lot of stuff in there and it feels like all right it don't feel like crap but um, for £8.39 you can't go wrong so if you've never shopped on Team U before maybe give it a go because you might end up getting things and I'm sure this was in the flash sale I'm sure I'm not I'm sure I haven't got it wrong I'm sure it was in the flash sale but like I say, it's gone back up to normal price now, which is 39.47. But as I say, I think it's worth that. But would I pay that for it? Hell no, I wouldn't, because I've got it for 8.39. Oh, I don't think so. So yeah. Anyway, that was my mystery uh gift box from Team U. I have got some more bits from Team U, so I'll do them in my next video. Uh I'd just like to say if this is the kind of thing you like, please hit the like, please hit the subscribe, please press your notification bell. It will tell you every time I upload. If you've not subscribed to my channel, please do. Uh, I appreciate it. <coughs> A big hello to all my new subs <coughs> and um also just to say i love you all and my existing subscribers love you all and um i hope you're having a lovely day whatever you're doing and i shall see you all in my next video love you bye